Hey guys, I wanted to give a quick shout out and uh, tell you guys to be on the lookout uh, for a young man. His name is Kirk Williams. That's K I R K and then Williams in Florida. Um, his YouTube is Kirk Williams. And I want to tell you guys something. Here a good while back, over about a, over a year ago, I kept telling everybody to watch out for this other guy, this other boy. And that other boy was Zeke Castro. And now Zeke Castro is turning into a hot, crazy uh future commodity in boxing and one of the little gifts I have is I can see it before it happens and I'm, I'm telling you a lot of you went where I put a shout out for Zeke again Zeke Castro again the other day and a lot of you guys went over there and looked and like shockingly like oh my god this kid's gonna be great oh my god but about a year ago or over a year ago I was giving him shout outs and not much reply but everybody sees what the hell this kid is today and I'm telling you guys Kirk Williams is he's, just, he's gonna be the same way uh, Kirk hadn't hasn't been boxing as long as Zeke had been boxing but I'm telling you I see something very special in this young man and uh, like Zeke uh, this guy's developing his punching power right now uh, you know a lot of guys are born with it uh, Joe's one of those that's just born with it just had a hell of a punch from day one. Uh, uh, first time Joe sparred, he got beat up by a professional. As I keep telling you guys, that was a good route for him to go. Uh, but he was still laying some hard punches in on this pro, and this pro was like, damn, this, this kid can hit, boy. Uh, but most people, including myself, you have to figure out your your own thing uh, you've got to figure out how to maximize your own punching power and it's mind over matter you can you, you get to clicking right you get the leverage right that works right for you and I'm telling you this Kirk Williams is going to be a puncher uh, he's very tall he's at a lower weight class but six I believe six foot tall he's fighting at 125 and each time I watch him the power's increasing techniques increasing he just gets better and better and he has done everything in a quick quick fashion because he's only been boxing about a year I believe and uh I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I wasn't wrong on Zeke, and I'm not wrong on Kirk either. Uh, so if you can go over to Kirk's channel, give him a, a subscribe, and sit back and watch, because you'll be able to uh, watch a boxer progress, and it'll help some of you younger guys out too. Uh, and if you're older like me, it's just enjoyable to watch the progression. And one thing with uh, Kirk that Zeke has as well and had that I saw that others weren't seeing was work ethic. And uh, both these boys are in the gym and on the gym floor when there ain't nobody in the gym, see. And that's, that's special right there. Uh, you can look at uh, Kirk, and when he, he boxes out of elite uh, 
I think it's Elite fit, Fitness and Boxing Gym or Elite Boxing in Florida. And uh, the gym owner, the trainer, was a hell of a guy. Hell of a guy. I mean, if, if we were there, this is where Joe would be. Uh, it would allow me to back off and just let Joe loose uh, with this trainer. He's, he's something else. This coach is something else. He's good. And they're very good with adults, uh, teenagers, and even smaller kids. They're just excellent. But uh, even when a gym owner is like putting some videos out for the gym, you see Kurt in the background. He may be laid back, relaxing on the uh, on the edge of the uh, ring, <laughs> Not literally, because he's just there all the time, every available moment. He's either schooling or doing that. These kids, he's got the work ethic, and I see the punching power coming. Uh, you know, I've, I've mentioned several times, if you don't believe punching power can be developed, you need to go to Tim Witherspoon's channel and watch this guy. This guy couldn't punch for crap. He's two-time heavyweight champion of the world. Not as known as a lot of the champions, but Tim Witherspoon could punch, boy. He was a knockout guy. And uh, he didn't have a right hand and uh, didn't have much of a left either. But he worked and tweaked, and they worked with him and uh, did, did some minor things with him, uh, just dropping a left shoulder that increased his right. And uh, I'm telling you, with this kid, Kurt Williams, he's going to be somebody to be watching, too. Uh I will not be wrong on, on him no more than I was wrong on Zeke Castro that nobody was paying attention to a year or over a year ago, uh, who everybody's paying attention to now. And uh, so subscribe to both of those channels, uh, especially Kirk. He's just in the starting phase of this. Go to Kirk Williams. On Facebook, give him a look, see, show him support. He's a hard worker. Uh, you can say, "Hey, I was with him almost at the, from the start," uh, and, you, and you'll see greatness happening in front of your eyes and going up. Uh, just like I knew I was right about Zeke Castro, and give Zeke Castro, that's Z E K E Castro. Uh, give him a subscribe too. Uh, when I first started watching this kid, he was he was real good, but I, I knew he was going to be real great. And you go see what he's come into today, and he's really great. And I would like to thank me harping with with and about him on punching power. Uh, maybe helped a little bit because this kid's uh, Zeke is. Oh my God, he's just punching like crazy. This kid is hitting. I believe he's about 154, and he's punching like he's 194. And I'm telling you, Kirk Williams is going to be doing this too. This kid is building his strength and uh, uh, overcoming any weaknesses he has, just like every, like all the great ones do. And so. Please go give them a try. And the last thing I want to mention quickly, I'm going to try not to let this run over 10 minutes, but I'm sure it will. Go to Scrapbook Boxing and uh, subscribe to him. You get, you're going to get the complete history of boxing. And this guy, his dad and his granddad have applied or have made the biggest scrapbook known to man or series of scrapbooks and uh, one thing I, that I was really shocked about was Murderer's Row it's referred to a lot as Black Murderer's Row and it's a line of black boxers and uh, go look and see the adversity that these guys had to overcome it's really amazing and that would be at Scrapbook Boxing so God bless you, everybody, and everybody have a good evening.